morning guys it's saturday the 15th of january i sat down to do my daily healing message from the fairy tarot and i cannot for the life of me find the fairy tarot um i have so many decks and they're all over the place and i can't see it i didn't think i took it out of my room but i can't see it anywhere and i don't know anyway so what I'm going to do instead is show one of my many decks that I haven't yet showed. So I'm going to show this beauty, the respect, re, oh good lord I can't even talk, Retrospective Tarot by Chiro Marchetti. Um, so it's this beautiful um, magnetic box, lovely magician on the inside and a lovely ribbon to close it. It has the fool on the back. There's a page and there's the eight of cup three of three of pentacles even uh, and then there's the hermit and the judgment card so yeah there's some lovely images on a beautiful uh, silky smooth box this is the title card uh, which is signed there's also there look see the the imprint of the the fool well, it's like a gesture. See it there? Ah, there we go. Um, and this is the backs of the cards, which is absolutely incredible. It's two fools. It's so beautiful. And you can see the imprint there, look again. Um, so, that's that. Now, these cards have a very light grey border around them, which is absolutely so beautiful. And, oh sorry, and they also have a uh, silver gilding. Now I know the first printing had um, a glitter silver gilding. Didn't look as good. Um, so this is much better, uh, just a, a normal solid silver gilding, you know. So I'm going to show you. So here we have the fool. Sorry, I should explain this deck, right? This deck is... Chiro has gone through all his previous decks um, that were all mass market, but I know a few years ago he had made a big announcement that he was refusing to do any more decks because there was so many people copying them illegally and selling them for a few euro on Wish and the likes. He got very annoyed by that and he said he was stopping making any decks. Um... Someone obviously got around him or something, I don't know what happened in the last few years, but he is now making uh, more decks, but he's only printing them and selling them himself. So you can only get them from his Etsy shop or from his website, okay? There's nowhere else you can buy his decks. Um. So yeah, this deck is like a collaboration of all his decks. So he went through all the Fool cards from all his previous decks, picked his favourite one. And he changed it around a bit just to make these all one kind of, I think cohesive is, is the right word, um, deck to make them all kind of similar and look look well together and, and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so this was his favourite fool card. Now I don't, I only know the um, Gilded Tarot Royale which I have. So I'll tell you which cards are from that deck but the rest I don't know. So here we have the fool. The Magician. The High Priestess. Now this is from the Gilded Tarot Royal. And the, and the original Gilded Tarot. The Empress. I do like the big writing at the end I have to say. There is no book with it. Which doesn't bother me because I know what the cards are anyway. The Emperor. I think I said that already. This is from the Gilded Tarot Royale. Faith is instead of the Hierophant. He did do a Hierophant at the start. But then he took it out and he just left the Faith card in. That is very beautiful. I love this card. This is the only card I don't particularly <coughs> particularly like. The Lovers. Um, I don't know what deck it's from. But the... <coughs> excuse me. The Lovers from the Gilded Terror Royal is the most stunning lover's card and I would much 
I preferred that carrot but anyway this don't particularly like but anyway this is a gorgeous gorgeous chariot card from the Gilded Terror Royale Um, strength is from the Gilded Terror Royale this is a beautiful hermit card I don't know what deck it's from but it's absolutely stunning that really just has a sense of go off on a quest in search of yourself and in search of you know what you want out of life and shine your light and kind of maybe lead others do you know The Wheel of Fortune, um, people know by now the Wheel of Fortune and the World are cards I don't particularly like, just because they're boring, because there's not much happening in them, but this is actually beautiful, I really like this. Oh, this Justice card, I've never seen a Justice card with two people in it before, that is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The Hanging Man is fabulous. Look at that. I love the um, egg timer here. It's like saying to me, don't hang around too long. Do you know? I think it's cool. The death card is beautiful. I have to say I do love my Rider Waite Smith traditional death card, but this is beautiful. Looks even better on camera. It's gorgeous. Temperance is from the Gilded Tarot Royale. The Devil is from the Gilded Tarot Royale. He's pretty awesome. The Tower. The Star and the Moon. Oh my God. Look at that look. Look at the light from that card. Amazing. I'm going to show the moon and the sun together. Because look how amazing they are, first of all. But you really get the sense of the feminine energy here with this beautiful lady and the male masculine energy of the sun from, from him. Aren't they just divine? Yin and yang. I love these two cards so that's the moon and the sun I just had to show them together because you know they're kind of opposites judgment very traditional judgment and the world which I again I like I said I usually don't like but this is very beautiful so that's the major arcana guys now we're going to go to the ones so I'm just going to Separate the ones now first. Right, here we go. So we have the Ace of Wands. Now I have no idea what decks most of these are from. Two of Wands. The Three of Wands is Gilded Tower Royale. Beautiful, beautiful. Waiting for your ship to come in. Waiting for new, new news, new information. The Four of Wands, I know whatever deck this was, was taken from, that there was originally a family in there. Not quite sure why they were taken out, but it's still a beautiful card. But I do like people in my cards. This Five of Wands is actually incredible, even though there's no faces or anything, but you can really see the power struggle here in this Five of Wands. It is a beautiful card. Six of Wands is the Gilded Tower Royale. Seven of Wands is the Gilded Terror Royale. Eight of Wands, I don't know. Nine of Wands, beautiful card. Ten of Wands is the Gilded Terror Royale. See that beautiful, um, what do you call it? Oh, what's he called? My back is killing me. Um, Deer, the deer in the background. Deer spirit says, take the lead. 
according to Colette Byrne Reed's Spirit Animal Oracle deck, which people know I love. I always tend to, um, you know, link animals from other decks with that deck. Page of Wands. Such vibrant colours. <gasps> love it. The Knight of Wands. Now there's a lovely guy on YouTube, Mitchell Osborne. And he says that, because I was wondering why there was no like horse or actual knight in these cards. But he said that because the knights are in the courtyard and they're kind of taking orders from everyone and doing what they're told that as such they have no kind of mind of their own kind of a thing they just follow orders so that is why he didn't put an actual physical person into the night cards if that makes sense queen of wands and the king of wands is from the gilded tower royale okay so swords next i'll just get out martha your favorite and they're actually so gorgeous. Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. This Three of Swords is divine. Look at that. Love it. This Four of Swords, oh my God. So you have the traditional guy lying down, having a rest, taking time out. But look, you have the knight here in the background. So it's like he's kind of lying down, but, and he's taking the time out and he's resting. But at the same time, it is going through his head or his dreams or whatever that he needs to be kind of moving, you know. I just think that's such a beautiful card. I love it. The Five of Swords. So here's the guy, victorious, and he has all the swords. But you can see this person that he's, trodden over to win the battle curled up here in the fetal position very beautiful very powerful card I think uh, six of swords I just think that's amazing sure Marchetti, Marchetti isn't even a tarot reader he's like a graphic, graphic designer it's just incredible what he can do with a deck of cards Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, that's so beautiful, that red really pops, Nine of Swords, this is incredible, now the only thing is her face doesn't match the kind of horror that should be displayed of the, in the Nine of Swords, but it's still beautiful, so much detail in these cards lads, um, Ten of Swords, Uh, page oh it's a beautiful page knight of swords queen of swords she's awesome and the king of swords aren't they just the most amazing cards so what do we have next? Cups. All right. Let's do this. Ace of Cups. I love the mermaids holding up the cups. That's so cool. This Two of Cups is so beautiful. So it's two hands, but if you look closely at the glasses, the faces of the people are in the glasses. It's gorgeous. But this Three of Cups. Oh, I love it. The detail he puts into cards is phenomenal. Four of Cups. Five of Cups. Six of Cups. Oh, this is a real be like a child and get out and play and have fun and enjoy life. I love it. Seven of Cups. Eight 
Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. This is a Gilded Terror Royal. The Ten of Cups is Gilded Terror Royal. And then we have this beautiful Page of Cups. Knight. Queen. She gorgeous. And the King of Cups. One more suit and we have the pentacles but he calls them coins. So Ace of Coins. Now this is Gilded Terror Royal. This Two of Coins, again I don't know what deck it's from but oh my god it's beautiful. I just love that. The Three of Coins is a beautiful card. However, Three of Pentacles is supposed to be about teamwork and he has no one else in the card, only the one guy. So it's too similar to the Eight of Coins for my liking. But it's, I mean, it's it's beautiful card, don't get me wrong, but I just, it's a pity there wasn't two more people in it, don't know. Four of Coins is from the Gilded Tower Royal. Five of coins, asking for help. Six of coins. I love this because he's handing you the um the Libra symbol, which is about balance. This card always says to me, make sure you have a balance in what you give and what you receive, because too many of us give too much of ourselves and don't kind of get anything in return and you don't I mean I know like obviously we're not supposed to give to others expecting something back but like if you help one person you usually get it back from someone else do you know and um, someone else will help you out in some way that they can and you've already helped another person do you know um but some people just give, 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 give and no one helps them. You, know, you can't keep helping people if, if no one's going to kind of be there for you when you need to. My eye, lads, is driving me nuts. Seven of coins. Eight of coins. This is a beautiful eight of coins. Oh, the nine is divine. The nine is divine. <laughs> that rhymes. How pretty is that? Ten is from the Gilded Tarot, Tarot Royale. Like a bit of a tongue twister. Page of Coins. Knight. Queen and King. Now I'm going to very quickly give them a little shuffle and pick one for the group because I always pick a card. Um, so that's the retro retrospective tarot, guys. It is so beautiful. I highly recommend it. It's totally right away. It's Smith based, so you could use it as a beginner. However, like I said, it doesn't come with a book, so you'd have to. Do you know if you wanted a book, you'd have to um buy some right away Smith based book to learn from. But even though I did learn by using books as well, I kind of would actually recommend people to go with their intuition and kind of read the card image instead do you know but I said I do I do love books too though do you know so so sorry I'm shaking the camera all over the place so a card for the collective ah lads nine of coins so this card is about 
taking the time out and enjoying what you have worked hard for. Do you know, she's clearly living a life of luxury, but she's also enjoying it. So get out, spend time in nature. Um, enjoy your health, enjoy your family, enjoy everything you've worked hard for in your life. Okay, so that's the message from the retrospective tarot. Thanks a million guys and when I find my fairy tarot I will do my daily healing message. <laughs> Thanks a million guys. Bye.